special edition of my channel. Um, as you know, if you've been watching any of my previous videos, I am having my convalidation ceremony soon. And I needed a couple of Jane Austen books that I did not find in my previous uh, trip to Half Price Books. So um, I went to Barnes and Nobles and I got a couple of more books. And my daughter picked up one for herself. I, it's a manga. So we're going to dig into this bag. And you want to do that, Honors? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get this book out of the way so we can get to the Jane Austen books. This is my manga that I picked up on on the way when we were at Barnes & Nobles. This is Death Note, the Black Edition. And you can see the main character, Light Yagami. The, and in the back it gives you the synopsis and to let you know this book isn't just a, no, a normal volume it includes volumes one and two and to my knowledge there's three editions of the black edition which has Light Yagami on the first one Ryuk on Ryuk the Shinigami on the second one and L the number one detective on the third one if there's any others, please let me know so I can know ahead of time. <laughs> but pretty much, the synopsis is that Light Yagami is your average A student who has who is driven to go to college and become a police officer. But when Ryuk the Shinigami dropped his death note all because he was bored, and Light picks it up, suddenly he chases for justice and will purge the world. And becomes what he feared the most. So what did you think of the book? I finished the book um, this week. I don't remember the day, but I really loved it. I watched the anime beforehand. I haven't finished it yet, but I watched most of it up to the biggest thing that happens in season two. But I will say I really enjoyed it. It's very faithful to the anime, or at least the anime is very faithful to the manga since this came out in 2001, and I believe the anime premiered in 2006. But it has other, other stuff that the anime doesn't have, like light taking a break, or it just has some extra features that the anime didn't have, which naturally happens in movie or TV adaptations, but... Overall, it's, the anime was pretty faithful to the manga, I would say, and I do enjoy the characters just as much as I enjoyed them in the anime. Ryu could be my number one favorite, and him having extra dialogue is beautiful. I'm not really familiar with the man manga, manga um, genre. Uh, I know that there is, a, I think, a Pride and Prejudice or some Jane Austen mangas, um, mangas and also some Bronte Jane Eyre man manga, so I'm curious to look into those. But I have to say that I was quite taken with the look of the book. I mean, I really do like the aesthetic of it, and I don't know if you saw the spine, but there it is. Um, I'll put it this way so you can see it better. So um, it's got a lot of details to it. Um, I don't know if my daughter showed you the artwork. Oh, yeah. Um, I would like to let people know that the first couple, the first couple pages are in color like if you've seen the anime Ryu coming down to the human world after dropping his death note but the rest is in black and white as you as usual mangas are and if you're new to reading manga and are interested in starting with death note i would like to warn you that in traditional manga format that you would have to read from left to right not from right to left which is good to know <laughs> because I learned that the hard way while reading my friends My Hero Academia manga. So now I'm going to dig into this bag some, uh, once again and pull out the next book that we uh, found or I found for um, what I needed. And that would be this book right here. Uh, this is Jane Austen's Persuasion. I believe this is Peng from Penguin Classics. It is a pretty good uh, edition of... Persuasion, very floppy. As you know, I love floppy books. Um, the font, not so much. It's kind of tiny, but um, I'm giving... Oh, there is the bookmark. They actually gave us a free bookmark, and I was a little salty because I didn't see it in the back. <laughs> but I found it, so I, I apologize for my saltiness earlier. <laughs> my daughter 
uh, to witness that. Um, <laughs> but here's the book, let me give you that. Um, but uh, like I said in a previous video, and I'll put the video up here um, from my trip to Half Price Book, um, I am going to be gifting these at the, some point in the evening of my wedding reception. Um, because if you do not know, if you have not seen that video, um, I decided for my wedding reception that I would name my tables after Jane Austen characters because of my love of Jane Austen and um, put, run that by my daughter. She thought that was perfectly awesome. Of course, my husband thinks, who knows, <laughs> he's, he's, it's, it's your reception, go ahead. He's basically uh, left me to my own devices. So then I thought, well, why wouldn't it be just awesome if we put a book on the table? Because some of these people really don't know about Jane Austen. They might not understand why there's names on the table. So I thought that would be a good idea. And then I thought, well, you know, I'm going to get these books. And um, why not, you know, do a little mini raffle for each table and at some point in the evening. And so one of the guests can win the book. So <laughs> this book will be gifted at the, some point in the evening. I feel ashamed of actually gifting it <laughs> because I do like this portrait um, and I like the floppiness but again like I said the font is not my favorite so um, I'm trying to see if there's anything yes there's an introduction um, to this book and here is the inside this is from Penguin Classics uh, Random House UK um, I purchased this for um, $7 you can see right there there's the price um they're really happy with the purchase um i needed another persuasion um because uh like i said i am doing as you can see the names of all of the uh, of all the characters that i chose for my tables um and so uh, so some of these tables are going to have the same book but um it's going to represent the different characters so this one is actually representing Captain Wentworth. So that will be going on the Captain Wentworth table. And then I do have another copy of Persuasion that's going to be going on Anne's table. But let's get into this bag and pull out. You want to pull out the last book that I yeah, that I I've had picked up. And Pride and Prejudice. And of course, I needed another Pride and Prejudice book because like I showed you in a previous video, I only found one. Um, and I do have a couple of copies of Pride and Prejudice, but those are gifts, and quite frankly, I don't really want to part with them. So, um, I was on the hunt for another Pride and Prejudice. So, you This know. is a Signet Classic. I will, and they have a bit of, like, by a, a mini biography of Jane Austen, Margaret Drabble. Um. That might be the person that did a little bio for her. There's also an introduction like the persuasion, and in here you can see that in the U.S. it's sold for $5.95. Yeah, so I got a pretty good deal on this book. Um, here is the spine. It's some pretty nice. It's gonna. It will look nice on someone's bookshelf. It would look nice on my bookshelf if I was keeping it. <laughs> but um, like I said, these books will be raffled off at the end of the night, so someone will be getting this um Hopefully. paperback edition. I think this is considered a paperback edition so not so floppy and of course the font is tiny but you know you can really go to work with this book you can open it up and you can really dig into it um and you don't really have to worry too much about you know it being you know overly used because um it's a paperback so i thought that was a good uh introduction book for someone that's just learning about jane austen i like i said a lot of the guests really i don't think they're readers and i really don't think they know jane austen i think there's only one other than my family only one other um guest that actually does is a jane austen uh fan and has read the books that actually introduced me to the books and that would be my aunt sandra so she's going to be in attendance so i'm curious to see what how she reacts because she doesn't know i haven't really told any i think i've only told one person other than my immediate family what i'm doing so i'm curious to see her reaction but i will try to get a couple snippets if i'm sure there's going to be some video and possibly in the future um add a video somewhere uh soon i'm not sure when that will be because it's just so chaotic right now um actually after this ceremony and we have um just a couple 
just a couple more months and then my daughter will be celebrating her quinceanera so we have that to finish planning and working on and of course there'll be some videos to come for that but um i'm thank you for joining us for this video um i hope you you enjoyed it and if you stayed to this point in this video i'm pre i'm very appreciative of it thank you so much and um i hope you will consider subscribing or at least hit the like button if you've liked this video but until next time take care see you soon god, god bless, bless. bye, bye.